Government opens residential rooftop solar energy scheme. Faced with poor performance of the rooftop solar program in the residential space, the government on Friday said that individual households can now opt for a vendor of their choice, and the subsidy amount for purchasing the equipment will be credited directly into their bank account. In a review meeting on the performance of the RTS program in residential areas, on Wednesday, the Power and New Renewable Energy Minister R.K. Singh directed officials to simplify the scheme in an attempt to boost its implementation, as only about one-third of the allocated capacity has been installed so far. India has significant rooftop solar potential at 1.7 petawatt hour per year. MNRE said that now it is not necessary for a household to get the RTS installed by any of the listed vendors of a state discom. The households can also install the equipment on their own and inform the discom about it along with a photograph of the system. The discom will then have to ensure that net metering is provided within 15 days. Subsidy, which is 40% for RTS of up to 3 kW capacity and 20% beyond that, up to 10 kW, will be credited to the householder's account by the discom within 30 days of installation. The option of getting the rooftop installed by any of the vendors designated by the discom remains available as earlier. In such cases, the householder may also select the solar panel and inverter of his choice, it added. Industry and analysts say that simplifying modalities will help address key bottlenecks like high cost of solar equipment, complicated subsidy system, and above all will help meet India's ambitious targets of arresting climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Besides, it will open up the market and help generate demand. However, the key would be performance and coordination of the state discoms. ICRA's senior VP group head Sobhusochi Majumdar pointed out that one of the factors which has hindered the growth of RTS industry has been the relative slowness in implementing net metering by discoms and also timely adjustment of payouts to rooftop plant owners. Government's proposals will take care of both constraints and incentivize investments in RTS. However, timely implementation at the DISCOM level will be the key. Welcoming the development, CEO of Industry Body National Solar Energy Federation of India Subrahmanyam Pulipaka told Businessline that the association will soon present a roadmap to MNRE for achieving the target of 100 gigawatts residential RTS. As a country our solar energy journey was predominantly driven by the government to generate demand, but today we are at a juncture where we are shifting from government-driven to market-driven demand. Today's announcement will take us closer to this transition. The moment a consumer gets the freedom to choose, the market opens up. The program will be driven by quality, credibility, and will drive growth. We expect a very good uptake in the residential RTS segment, he noted. NCEFI will soon propose a roadmap to the government, in a week or so, for establishing a target of 100 gigawatts of residential RFT solar in India. First, we will suggest policy initiatives and enabling ecosystem measures required to achieve the target. Second, we will run awareness campaigns in 10 states every year. We will meet DISCOMs, RWAs and consumers. We will have 100 sessions every year for these awareness campaigns," Pula Parker added. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Energy, in a report on MNRE's demands for grants for FY21 said that it feels that RTS are not attractive for consumers due to high maintenance cost and complicated procedures of disbursement of subsidy. The report was placed in Parliament in March 2021. The panel suggested that the Ministry focus on this program on emission mode. At present, the discovered rates for solar panels are around 38,000 to 50,000 Indian rupees for 1 to 10 kilowatts and 32,000 to 52,000 Indian rupees for 11 to 100 kilowatts depending on the state. Under the intended nationally determined contributions, India has committed to increase the share of non-fossil fuels in installed power capacity to 40% by 2030, which was raised to 50% at COP26. The government also set the target of 100 gigawatts of solar power capacity by 2022, of which 40 gigawatts is to be achieved through RTS and of this 4,000 megawatts is for residential RTS. In December 2015, Phase 1 of the RTS program was approved targeting 2,100 megawatts capacity addition by FY20 through Central Financial Assistance. Against this, as of December 5, 2021, an aggregate capacity of 2,098 megawatts 
has been sanctioned of which 1,319 MW was reported to have been achieved. Subsequently in March 2019, Phase 2 of the RTS program was launched with two components. Under Component A, the Ministry aims to set up 4,000 MW capacity in the residential sector with CFA, while under Component B, the target is to incentivize DISCOMs based on achievement towards initial 18,000 MW of grid-connected rooftop solar plants. As of December 5, over 3,339 MW capacity has been sanctioned to various DISCOMs while around 1,070 MW capacity has been reported to be installed. Cumulatively, more than 5,570 MW RTS capacity is reported to be installed in the country, and the Ministry has released around 3,147 Indian rupees crore as CFA.